The coronavirus is changing our lives. We are dealing with a lot right now. We are at the beginning of the worst global economic crisis since World War II. Factories, shops, restaurants, and cultural institutions had to close down. The crisis is hitting everyone hard. Companies are facing bankruptcy. People have lost their jobs. The weakest are being hit hardest by the crisis. Truck drivers, cashiers, cleaning staff, nurses, health workers and bus and train employees keep our society going and are the most affected. In other countries, the situation is even much more dramatic. There is a risk of mass unemployment in Southern Europe, which impacts young people in particular. And if the social division continues to grow, the EU will break apart. Then we will all lose. The climate crisis has not disappeared due to the coronavirus pandemic. For us, climate issues and social issues go hand in hand. In the long term, the consequences of the climate crisis will be enormous. That is why economic development in the post-coronavirus future needs to be climate friendly. We need environmentally friendly mobility and a climate conscious industry. We must not repeat the mistakes of the last European debt crisis. Rich countries have forced poor countries to sell their infrastructure and cut back on social infrastructure. Italy, Greece, and Spain continue to suffer from this today. We need massive public investments in climate-friendly infrastructure and a better health system. None of this happens by itself. Lobbyists are trying to assert their interests, block climate laws, and enforce privatizations. For a better world, let's build our future together.